So in my previous video, I asked you guys if I should start doing some vlogs because soon I'm gonna change. All around, it's, it's a mess in my room. Most of you guys were supportive and well, how Christmas is coming. I'm gonna do a giveaway of this world's smallest camera. I'm gonna explain you at the end of the video how you can apply for it. So how I'm gonna start doing some vlogs? Well, I'm gonna test today how is the autofocus on this camera, on the Nikon 5300. And if this camera is overall any good for vlogging or not, because well, uh, I've saw a lot of people asking in other forums, in other videos, even sometimes in mine, is this camera any good for vlogs? Or is this camera any good for videos, has good quality? How is the autofocus? And well, today we're gonna test how is the autofocus because the autofocus, it works, but it always like bounces. The autofocus isn't like smooth. Whenever it loses the focus, then when it tries to focus, it doesn't like focus smoothly, but uh, like, but focuses abruptly. Let's try, let's focus outside, for example. I'm not touching any button. It's trying to focus all by itself. Outside it's raining, it's, it should be snowing, but it's not that good. Let's try again in my face. So it tries to recognize my face because I have the option uh, to recognize my face and not objects. And while recognizing my face, it, you, it focuses correctly. But like I said, this, the focus isn't always smooth. So let me try to explain. So I'm gonna try to come into the camera and go out. And when coming, you're gonna see the focus will not like focus smoothly, but it will focus like boom, boom. Let me show you. Well, from that video, you might think, well, it's not really that bad. I mean, the focus kind of focused well, and when it tries to focus, it's like, you, you can see in the background uh, when it tries to focus. And in this occasion, when you're kind of close to the camera, it focuses all right. In some other videos that I did, and I let the autofocus on, on auto. For example, if you stay farther away, and when you talk, you raise your hand and blah, 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 you try to explain something, then you'll see the focus will always try to focus which is not really that good when you're trying to shoot a video and then the whole video is like trying to focus 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 so that's why i mostly use manual focus when trying to shoot a review for example or when i'm in my chair and uh, well the camera's more or less there you saw you saw there i raised my hand and it tries to like focus but well for the vlogs it actually works quite fine let me take the camera again and move around uh, here the house uh, just to test it more. Okay, so focus. Okay, okay, let's try to move to see if the focus will keep on. It kept on my face, but here it kind of lost me. Uh, and But well, it kind of auto-focused fast. Let's try to lose my face again. And then come back to my face. And it works fine. Well, like I said, when you hold the camera close to your face, like in, in your hand, the autofocus works quite fine, but when you place the camera still and you're a bit farther away, then the autofocus is not really that great when you're like moving your hands. Okay, so this is normally sometimes when I shoot videos, I raise now the camera a bit way too up, but well, just to give you an idea, whenever you make a video and you're trying to explain something, there will be always like hand movements and when you're moving your hands, or for example, when I'm gonna move my head, you're gonna see the focus will, al will always try to search for the focus point. And when you do still videos like this, having the video always trying to focus is not really that good. So that's why in these kind of situations, you have to use the manual focus. But then I can't reach to my camera to press the manual focus. So when I make videos like this, I kinda use this kind of for selfies and then I can reach to my camera button to manually focus. So this is how I focus my videos. So in conclusion, I think this camera can work for vlogs. It's better if you try to shoot still videos, up close products, for example, when you use the manual focus, manual options for the aperture, for the brightness. On the auto option, it also works, but well, uh, and well, how it has the flip screen, I can always see uh, my face, I, I always can see if I'm in the shot, for example, if I have the camera like this, well, my face is not fully on the screen, so I can see always if I'm on the screen or not, 
which is great about this camera. Overall, the quality of this camera is great. I think in the low light situations, it does a good job. I still use a default lens, which is 18 to 55 millimeters, which has the autofocus. But yeah, I hope this test was useful for you guys who are looking into this DSLR, into this Nikon D5300 or D5300. But yeah, now let's go to the, to the giveaway. So a while back, I reviewed this small camera uh, which I didn't really like the quality of it, so I don't really know what to do with the camera and like I've said how the Christmas is coming Why not making a giveaway for you guys and a lot of you guys on my previous giveaways? Uh, suggested me to use uh, this Gleam website for giveaways which you can use some options to gain some points and then when the giveaway ends it will automatically select a winner so I'm gonna do that so all you have to do is click on the link down below guys and then there you can choose how you make the points because in my other giveaways when when i did the random select comments well many of you guys said oh well this is not really fair because you're kind of selecting it random and sometimes might not be random stuff like that so well how many of you suggested to use this website and well i'm gonna use it if you're interested in this camera well apply for the giveaway if not well thanks for watching thanks for your support and i hope this video was useful for you